welcome back to CJ's Kitchen. Thank you so much for tuning in again. It is that time of the month again where my treats box has arrived and I'm as usual super excited to dig in and check it out. So let's see what we got this month. So here it is, the November treats box. It's the typical packaging. Inside we have the card and the seal. And, oh, this is great. Uh, it's Grand Canal Venice, Italy is what this picture is of. Look at that, gondolas and definitely Italy. Woohoo, that's exciting. And this says, ciao from treats. <laughs> I am about half Italian, so I've been really looking forward to an Italy box. And so this should be super fun. So I'm not gonna read the whole card, but it says that this month's um, box contains a selection of some of the finest treats Italy has to offer, uh, including traditional Italian cookies, chocolate with hazelnut. That's definitely quintessential Italian, so I'm excited about that. And it also says there'll be some unique treats uh, like candy that fizzes in your mouth, chocolate in the shape of a hamburger, and more. That's really cool. I'm so excited to dig in and see what we've got. So this first treat is Bueno. So it says, this is Kinder Bueno by Ferrero. They are crispy chocolate covered wafer bars with a rich hazelnut cream filling. I love, I love hazel. Um, they come wrapped in two individually sealed plastic sleeves so you can eat one and save the other for later. That's great. So I'm going to open this up. Oh, it's lovely. This is what it looks like. Lines of chocolate drizzled on it. That's pretty cool. So the wafer broke open really easily. That's what it looks like inside. Let's give it a taste. Manja. Hmm. <laughs> so the wafer inside is really light and crisp. The hazelnut is super, super creamy, and the chocolate and everything just kind of melts and in your mouth. It's amazing. Definitely delicious. <laughs> um, the chocolate seems to be very good quality, and like I said, the hazelnut um, cream filling is really lovely too. It's very, very, very creamy, and it has a nice hazelnut flavor. And all together, it just makes a really be beautiful presentation. Or let's move on to the next treat. For my next selection, I've chosen this mini can cantuccini. Let's read the card. So the brand on this is Matilda Vicenzi. <laughs> Love Italian. Um, these are traditional Tuscany biscotti biscuits and they are made with all natural ingredients, no added colors or preservatives. They can enjoy it on their own or paired with a cup of coffee or milk. My grandparents um, were big biscotti makers. Um, my grandma and grandpa would get in the kitchen together and make them and they taught me how to make them and they definitely loved to have them with their coffee. It was definitely one of their favorite things. Uh, doesn't hurt to have it with a little vino either. Uh, so here we go. Oh, these are adorable. They are teeny tiny little biscotti and they look very authentic. You can see the, they're nicely toasted on the outside and um, they tend to be on the dry side and so that's why they're really great for dipping in, you know, in, in a beverage and um, coffee's a great choice. They're good with tea too. Mm. These are really nice. Whatever those red berries are, um, actually in the picture, I'm just going to try to show you the picture. It looks like they're showing um, raspberry and I don't know if, if this is cranberry or lingonberry or currant, but you can really taste the fruit. It has a really nice fruitiness. Um, it is very hard, um, harder than I'm used to my grandparents' biscotti being um, 
but very nice and definitely, definitely you want to have this with a beverage. Um, but the fruit comes through really nice. I was trying to figure out what the flavor of the cookie part is. Um, our traditional biscotti always had um, an anise flavor. Um, we've also made them with lemon or um, almond. I think it just might be a simple vanilla, um, but the flavor of the berries are coming through so well that that's really all you pick up on. So you have this lovely crunch with this very authentic biscotti and then this lovely, lovely red berry flavor all throughout. Those are really good. <laughs> Please excuse me for talking with my mouth full. I know my husband's going to love these. I'm gonna make sure that I save some so that he can enjoy them too. Let's try something else. So this caught my eye right away. It reminds me of um, that cone that we got in the Japan box. So it says Kano Snack Choco Parties. Um, it's a crispy, delicious cone that comes in the form of a wafer lined with chocolate filling. The chocolate is smooth in texture, rich in taste, and is further decorated by colorful chocolate candies. Well, let's take a look, let's see. Oh, so there we go. So the chocolate candies are like little mini candy covered chocolates that we're all familiar with. And, oh, and look at this. Oh, this is, this is adorable. It looks like one of those Nutty Buddy cones that would have ice cream. It looks like we have some dark chocolate as well as some milk chocolate and just a typical sugar cone and then of course the chocolate candy. So this might be messy, but let's give it a taste. Mm. <laughs> no surprise that it's very sweet. The chocolate is very good though. It is really creamy. Um, it's definitely a milk chocolate. So again, quite sweet. Um, the crunch of the chocolate covered candies is kind of nice in there with the candy, candy coating. I didn't quite get into the, the cone, so I'm gonna try to get a bite with a little more cone in there. Mm. <laughs> this one's pretty good. It actually reminds me, it has that creaminess that gelato has. Um, so it's just a really nice, the chocolate has a really nice texture and a full flavor that I, I'm really enjoying. So that's a fun one. Let's see what else we've got. Bocce? I don't speak Italian. I like to pretend I do, but <laughs> I really don't. So I don't know how to pronounce everything. So if you are an Italian speaking person, um, please do feel free to correct me in the comments and educate me because I definitely would love to learn some Italian. So this uh, treat is made by Perugina. Uh, it's an exquisite Italian chocolate with an outer layer or rich dark chocolate I think it's supposed to say of rich dark chocolate. Surrounding an inner layer of chocolate and hazelnut filling. Each piece comes with a romantic Italian poem written embedded in its wrapper. Oh my gosh, how charming. All right, so I'm gonna open this up. There are two inside, and this is what it looks like. So it's in a foil wrapper. It's adorable. It looks like a little bonbon. <laughs> Very cute. Um, and I managed to open it without destroying the poem, but of course I don't speak Italian, so um, I can't, I, I can try to read it. Uh, it says, uh, L'amore nasce dalla senza. Abs oh, oh, it's, it's, Translated, it says, absence makes the heart grow fonder. And then it says, El amor nace de la ascencia. Um, la amor ne de, de la absence. So I'm kind of wondering if that's a few different um, versions of Italian. They all seem to, I think they all say the same thing, but maybe they're just slightly different ways of saying the same phrase. I'm not sure. And so let's, Let's give this a taste. Mm. 
<laughs> oh my gosh, so good. <laughs> you have that, I'll show you. You have that outer layer of chocolate. And that's a whole hazelnut in the top. And then there's more hazelnuts in the filling inside. The filling is really creamy. Um, the chocolate is a lovely mix uh, between the, the darker and the very milky chocolate. And it's just, I mean, it's, it's just super delicious. I really like that. I, um, I'm gonna have to really fight with myself to save any for my husband. And I think this is a box that he would really enjoy. He's, he's flat out half Italian, and so he has um, just as much interest in Italy as I do, which is really fun. All right, so one thing I'm noticing about this box is it's all candy and cookies. I don't see any chips or anything. So lots of sweets. So this next thing is Vincenzovo. Classic Ladyfingers for Italian tiramisu recipes. So Ladyfingers, if you've ever made a trifle, Ladyfingers, um, which is really, I think a tiramisu probably qualifies as a trifle. It's just a, a specific version. But Ladyfingers are a classic ingredient. So this is, I've opened this up and there's two sleeves inside. So even though I'm gonna open the one and taste it, I'll still have another package that I can use for, uh, for a recipe or something, maybe over the holidays. So these are super, super light, very crisp. I'm just gonna break it and take a taste of this part. These, are, I'm sure, are wonderful with tea or coffee. Um, mm. They're very spongy. It's crisp, but spongy. See all the little air bubbles inside? So, very nice. I think they're just a, a vanilla flavor. They say they use the finest eggs and flowers and flour. Yeah, it doesn't mention any additional flavors. Um, definitely a really, this has a really lovely texture. Lady fingers aren't something I really have eaten a lot aside from having them in a, in a trifle here and there, but um, I'm gonna break off one more piece and take one more bite. Mm. Yeah, it's really interesting because as soon as you bite into it and you start to chew it, it kind of just dissolves on your tongue. So, really, really delicious. I'm kind of surprised that they hold up in tiramisu because I believe that you actually soak them in coffee for that. Next is the Choco Burger. <laughs> Let's see what the card says. So this is also by Masori. And it says it's a chocolate hamburger that, that contains an outer layer of chocolate and an inner layer, layer of chocolate and hazelnut cream. <laughs> Absolutely the sweetest burger you'll ever eat. I believe that. <laughs> so there's been a lot of hazelnut and that's great because they're one of my favorites, um, favorite nuts. And I definitely love Italian treats, having Italian grandparents. We actually had a lot of things with um, hazelnuts. My grandparents called them filberts. So. Let's give it a taste. Manja. Hmm. <laughs> mm. So this is what this one looks like inside. It it really doesn't have any distinctive layers. Um, it's very um, airy, very um, like a whipped chocolate, super creamy. The hazelnut flavor isn't as distinct in this as it's been in some of the others, but it's really, really nice. Um, it's a very lovely chocolate. It actually kind of tastes to me like, like hot chocolate should taste. So really, really, really yummy. So this is what we're gonna do next is the snack wafers. Uh, Baloco Cacao. So it says these are light, thin wafers with a crispy texture composed of dual layers of wafers with a delicious all natural cocoa cream filling. So this is another one that they talk about dipping in 
um, <laughs> coffee. So, hmm, imagine that Italians wanting to dip things in their cappuccino <laughs> or coffee. So here it is. It's just a delicate wafer cookie. And you can see that there are indeed two layers and two layers of chocolate with a sandwich layer in the middle. I've never been a real fan of these kind of wafer cookies, so we'll see what I think. So, mmm. <laughs> okay, these blow any wafer cookie that you may have had as a child right out of the water. I don't know if you remember those um, ones with the, um, I want to say they were pink and and uh, and vanilla, like, I don't know if they were strawberry. I always thought they were horrible, just icky, icky sweet. This is lovely. This is like um, a fairly dark chocolate, um, and then you have that wafer cookie to give it a little crunch. Bounce out the sweetness. So the chocolate's not super dark, but it is on the darker side compared to what we've had so far. Um, this is really nice. Um, this is another one I think my husband might really enjoy. He's really into chocolate, so. Mm. That was surprisingly good. All right, here's something that is not chocolate to break things up. This is called Honey's. So it says it's a hard honey flavored hour later layer and an inner layer of creamy honey and milk filling. And the honey uh, generates a smooth and soothing taste which relaxes your throat. These sounds so good. <laughs> They're individually wrapped inside the package. There we go. So it's not horribly huge. So it sort of reminds me of butterscotch or caramel. Um, it's actually more in the realm of caramel flavor wise. Let's see if I can bite into it and get to the liquid center. Mm. <laughs> That's really good. And it tastes exactly, it doesn't taste like honey flavored candy. It's definitely a creamy honey. Just like you would put in your tea or put on a biscuit. And it's very sticky, of course. That's really yummy. I really like that, very unique. We have an assortment of hard candies that I'm gonna skip for now. Um, actually, maybe not, there's, there's an awful lot of them. So these are a groomy candy by Mangini. Um, they're citrus flavored hard candies. It says they're absolutely de delicious and made with all natural ingredients. These are often found at Italian restaurants and they're a favorite for kids and adults alike. I've got an orange one and I'm just gonna give that a taste. Oh, this is interesting. Look, it's white. I didn't expect that. I didn't expect it to be white. I expect it to be the same color as the, as the flavor. Um, it definitely has a nice orange flavor to it. And so I just finished that candy and it, it had a really nice, very natural flavor to it. Um, not that super sweet, kind of in your face um, flavors that, that I'm more used to from candy. It's just super gentle, um, but nice. I, so the next thing that I'm going to try, I'm a little surprised to see in there because I didn't know these were Italian. But these are Zots. I don't believe I've ever actually had a Zot before, but I know I've seen them. I have seen them in the stores here. So we have orange and we have blue raspberry. And I'm gonna try the blue raspberry since I just tried a, um, an orange in that other candy. Oh, so this is big. <laughs> it's a really big piece of candy. And it's blue. And real quick, um, what it says about them is um, uh, that they have a fizzy sour center. That it looks like an ordinary hard candy, but once you put it in your mouth, it will start fizzing as its center dissolves in your mouth. So, here we go. 
Mmm. It has really intense flavor. Um, definitely what I would associate with like a blue raspberry, anything that we're used to here in the States. Started to fizz. It's just starting to pick up now. It definitely has a bit of sour to it too. They, they were not exaggerating when they said sour. And the flavor's almost too intense for me. So I <laughs> it gets really sour every time you get like a fresh um, wave of the effervescence. It is I know a lot of young people who like really sour stuff, so I'll be passing those on, but they are quite good. I'm just not a fan of sour. I only have two items left. Um, I almost want to put this one off because I know I've had it before, the Ferrero Rocher. These are so popular here in the States. I'm gonna just get in there and have one anyway. <laughs> these are lovely. They're, they're packaged in these little paper cups and each one is individually uh, labeled and they have this lovely gold foil. They just always have this really beautiful presentation. This is what it looks like inside. It's just this ball of chocolate with all kinds of bits of hazelnut. So that'll be a real switch after the blue raspberry. So let's give it a taste. Mm. That was so good. Mm. So there's hazelnut inside. And let's see, there's a creamy layer of chocolate, the actual hazelnut, and then the crisper outer layer. I think maybe um, this really gives it a run for its money though. I really like this one too. These are so good. Give me hazelnut and chocolate and I am a happy camper. Um, in fact, the cream filling in this one reminds me a lot of Nutella. So if you're a Nutella fan and you like nuts and you like crunch in your chocolate, definitely try these. They're very easy to find, especially at the holidays. Hmm, one's good. <laughs> Finger looking good, right? <laughs> wow, last but not least. We have these beautiful looking things. Milfogli d'Italia Classic. Uh, it says they're puff pastry sticks with butter. So that sounds pretty decadent and delicious. Classic Italian puff pastries uh, made with a traditional recipe that requires its dough to be folded 192 times. Wow. <laughs> to obtain its crispy texture. Further glazed with butter, it has a distinctive and delicate flavor. Well, let's check this out. It, the packaging is beautiful. We've seen several treats today with this brand. Um, so we have a tray. Look, the um, it has a plastic lid. So those are lovely. They definitely look like something you get at a bakery, don't they? Let's take one out and it's super light and I'm just going to break it. Really flaky. Mmm. <laughs> oh my gosh. So delicious. Really light, really flaky. Definitely buttery. I definitely would have expected something of this nature to get stale really easily, so I'm really impressed, and I'm sure the packaging has a lot to do with that. It has just a light sweetness. Um, I don't know if the camera will pick this up, but there's little bits of, yeah, you might be able to see that. Little bits of sugar mm, with that butter glaze. Definitely need some tea or coffee and just sit down and have a few of those for breakfast. <laughs> those are so good. I'm sure my husband will like those as well. So, wow, we got to visit Italy today and that was just super fun for me. Um, something I've really looked forward to and hoped that there would be an Italy box and here it is. This is also the fourth box that I've gotten. So this is the first full quarter of boxes and they've, been, they've all been so great. So couple thoughts on treats themselves. So far, the customer service has been really great. Um, I did have the one mix up with getting the Japan box twice. 
and they cleared it right up, got another box out to me immediately. They were very um, friendly and helpful and it was just a really good experience. Um, all of the um, shipping has been really quick. Um, they definitely are using uh, priority mail. Everything arrives in really good shape. So far we've just had one box that was, actually it was so full that I think it just bulged the box a little bit. But the packaging has come in really good condition every time. And all of these boxes have had a really interesting selection of treats. I think my favorite box overall so far would be a tie between this one and the UK one. Um, the UK one because I think it had the best balance of treats. It had candies, cookies, and some savory, crunchy snacks, which are really my favorite. When I think about sitting down and snacking, that's what I think about. Um, so the, that was, I think, overall my favorite. I think my favorite treat so far of the savory, um, like the crunchy chips and things has been Himamaru um, rice snacks were amazing. And um, I think they're my, my favorite so far. Um, I think my favorite um, candy bar, actually that this candy right here, or maybe this the Bueno, this one, these, these were just outstanding. Um, so really great chocolate so far that we've had. But actually from the UK and Italy both had really good chocolate, but this Italy box, every piece of chocolate was really delicious. Even, um, even the cone that was to me more of a, of a kid kind of a treat and it was super sweet. The quality of the chocolate was still really outstanding. Um, and then I think as far as cookies and stuff, the, this, it, this Italy box, um, actually I think this pastry that I, this last one that I just tried, I think is probably my favorite, but all of these cookies are so, um, so delicious. And these were such a surprise. So I'm, I'm just overall, I'm really impressed with the service. I'm looking forward to the next quarter's worth of boxes to see, um, what new favorites emerge from there. Highly recommended if you're thinking about subscribing to one of these um, and these kinds of things are up your alley, I would definitely recommend them. I think they're really fabulous. And this is not sponsored. I am paying paying for this. Um, this is just my personal opinion. And uh, yeah, so that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this. Please do share your comments below. I'd love to hear you know, what subscription services you're trying. If you're getting this one, what were your favorites? If you've had any of these same boxes, please no spoilers though. And uh, yeah, if, don't forget to give me the thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe and share with your friends. And until next time when I see you here in my kitchen, ciao.